So picture that. The one day that you come to Resorts World and there's a fire. To ask, I would just like the retailers and the cinema to go back in first and then we'll do a pay back induction with the hotel and the casino in the next couple of minutes. Now I actually did a vlog yesterday but because I was constantly running backwards and forward from meeting to meeting, I had over, I think it was eight meetings yesterday. I had a social media training to deliver and then I also had a video shoot late on the night. So I was literally putting my big camera into the back of the car and then running to a meeting, switching it on and then filming while having the meeting and things like that, but constantly. So it's something that I'm trying to adjust to because normally I'm behind the camera, so being in front of the camera is different. But one of the things that I forgot to do was switch on the sound. So some of the vlog hasn't got no sound at all, just like this one. Today I've got meetings on meetings on meetings. I've got a networking meeting as well, which I'm gonna be going to now. And I'm going to show you how what happens there and what people do and all that type of thing. I might give you some networking tips as well. But this is where loads of businesses come together. They're specifically coming in Sally Hall today. But they come together to find people that they can add value to. To find out who they can help. Some people are looking for business. Some people generally are looking to build relationships with people, partners, partnerships and those types of things. So today it's going to be all about meetings and I'm gonna show you a little bit of stuff at the end, but we'll see how it goes. I'm here now with John. Yep. Yep. And John's a local contractor. That's and right. what do you cover? Uh, basically, the company's called J Reed Enterprises Limited. We are a one stop solution to your property needs. So, we literally do anything for your property. We do kitchens, bathrooms, roofing, electrics, plumbing, plastering, decorating, landscaping. So, basically, you know, you have, it's safe getting lots of different people in to do different jobs. You just call us and we can do all of your jobs and, and you know, just all of your needs are covered, basically. Yeah, so that's John. So if you ever need a contractor, this is your guy, so get in touch. I've just finished up at the Business Biscotti meeting, went down really well, met some useful um, contacts. Going to be touching base with them next week, but I just want to give you some quick networking tips because a lot of people are intimidated by networking, but networking isn't really that bad. It's just literally meeting new people and just talking. Networking is only nervous when you're going in there and you're thinking, I need to sell my service. Like, I never lead with that. I don't even, to be honest, I don't even try and sell my service when I go to networking. What I look to do is meet new people and find ways that I can deliver value to them. It's just, it's just like social media. You want to be leading with giving value because people buy from people that they like, trust and respect. Now, if you're giving value to them and you're giving referrals to them and they're actually able to deliver a good service, then people are more likely to do business with you. And it's also good to have partnerships because for what I do, which is digital marketing, there's always gonna be people that people come into contact with. And 
people that will need digital marketing. So if they know someone, then they're gonna refer the person that has helped them out, which is more than likely going to be me. So that's what I look to do when, whenever I'm networking. Now when you're networking, it's always better to get someone to introduce you rather than you just approaching people, which there's nothing wrong with. If there's no one to introduce you, then you do that, you approach people. But another good tip is always get people to introduce you because if, especially if they've got a relationship with them already because if someone knows somebody already and someone says this person's really good that's a straight referral that's someone saying actually you know what this person is good he's good at what he's done automatically it builds trust because it's taking someone's word for it that they currently know and that's the focus that you really want to be doing too many people go into networking and they think i need business i need business and it comes across it's kind of like um when you go for a job interview and when you go for a job interview and you really need a job and you haven't got a job, it comes across in that interview. It's exactly the same at networking. If you've got no business and you come across like you've got no business, then no one is going to do business. So it's a key thing to remember. Now I've got to fly over to another meeting that I've got with a client uh, to talk about another video that we're going to be doing. We're going to be creating some content on how to help them deliver value to somebody else. So yeah, should be interesting. Sometimes you just have to do things that make you uncomfortable but like I'm walking around now with a big camera and a mic and everyone's just looking thinking like what's that guy doing but I don't really mind because it's one of them things that you um you just really have to do and you have to put yourself out there so and at the same time it's hacking something that I want to do in my approach and everything that I do do so I've got to become a practitioner of what I tell people to do because if you can document in between doing your daily routine then it's gonna help. Now one of the things that I really wanted to cover on this episode was networking because a lot of people often ask me shall I just do social media marketing? Should I just stick to that? My simple answer is you should use social media marketing to complement everything else that you do. So when I say social media marketing I do not mean just that's all you do, that's your only effort. Social media marketing is just one side of your sales funnel. It is just one function to it. It can be the main function to it if you do it right, but it is only one function to it. Now one of the things that you definitely don't want to do is turn up to a networking event and be like, hey, you guys. <laughs> People just don't like that. Something that often happens at networking events, the format normally goes is you approach someone and then you let them know when asked, your name and what you do, what your business is. Now, you don't need to go into sales mode with this, you just need to give a brief explanation on what you do. You can have your so-called elevator pitch, which some people like to drop and they like to use, or you can just go for a less formal way of doing things and just tell them what you do, literally. Now, one of the things that often happens at networking meetings, you might meet somebody and when you meet them, you tell them what you do and what your name is and then all, all of a sudden they start to drift off. You see that their attention starts to drift to the other side of the room because they're looking at who else can they talk to that has something that they're interested in. They're probably sometimes thinking to themselves, I'm really not interested in this. I've got a limited amount of time. I need to make contact with someone that's going to be useful and valuable to what I have. Now, that isn't their fault. Some people that just don't get the, the wider picture of, th of things, they don't get how partnerships can work, how by building a relationship with you, even though you're not useful to them directly, as in using their product or service, you might be someone that has a really valuable contact with somebody else. Now for you, you want to look at how you can add value to these types of people. Find out what it is that they're after, what are they trying to achieve. Check out their products and service after the meeting to see if they are worthy of referring to somebody else because that is another key. Make sure you're, when you're referring business that the person that you're referring the business to is worthy, trustworthy and can actually deliver the service that you're offering to a high standard.